We're here at a place called White Corals, Europe's largest online coral seller. They also have a retail shop, which we're about to go inside. This is unreal. Who would have thought coral could one day grow and just be so beautiful? 15,000 euros to 200 boxes of coral a yeah. day? Yes. That is legit. Oh, All of these start as little babies? Yes. You guys are trying to grow mother colonies. Right. Through solar energy. More than 1 million liter of water per year. Oh my gosh. 25,000 euros. And we're going to be getting a tour inside. The owners of Matthias and Christian. What do you guys do? So we import all kind of livestock. We import marine fish, invertebrates, corals, and then we frag them, we breed them, and we sell them. So this is yeah. a three-story building? Yes. yes. And people can come here to shop? Yes. yes. Never been to a retail fish store with that's a three-story building. All right, let's take a look inside. So now we can go to the showroom. This is open to the public right. and you know customers can walk in here and yes. buy corals. Right. So this is just a massive display tank. And how big is this? It's about 1,500 liters. It's like 400 gallons, more or less. And there's a gem tank in here. This gem tank is usually worth about 1,000 US dollars. Some of the acro colonies in here are gargantuan. How many tanks do you have total in here? So we have three coral holding systems. One is for incoming shipments. And then we have two more systems. One is more for the SPS. And the other one here is more for LPS and softies. How many boxes of coral are you shipping a day? During the high season, maybe 100, 150, maybe, maybe up to 200. Boxes or, yeah, of day. coral a yeah. day? Yes, yes, yes. So we sell within the whole European Union. That's why. So Your market is actually quite big then. Yeah. Yeah. What country do you guys sell the most to then online? Germany yeah. is the biggest market in Europe. And of course, it's our home home market, so. The hobby is popular in Germany. Yes, definitely. The hobby is very popular. Yes. These are some big tanks. They're about four or five feet across, which is kind of nuts for coral holding tanks. Did you guys custom make these or? Yes. How did you even get these in here? We had a, a, a crane, so then we just had moved the paints through the windows. Through these windows? It was, yes, it was quite complicated. Yanni, what do you think? I just realized after walking by this that this is like, one yeah. These are all like separate, and then I saw like a fish really? go back and like. Yeah. Then over on this wall, these are all the dry goods. Yes. We have more than 3,000 different items. You guys not only do white corals, but you also started the brand Neos. Yes, that's right. Tell me about Neos. How does that play I mean, into what you guys do here? So we first started the livestock business, white corals. And then after a certain amount of time, we discovered that there was a lack of products we wanted to have. At a certain point, we started to make them on our own. By the way, that's also how we started white corals because first we had a very big reef tank at our parents' place in the basement. <laughs> Sounds familiar. And yeah. then we started to collect corals. So that's how it all started. Super cool. Basically, protein skimmers, media reactors. And the thing I've always seen are the test kits. There's a new product, a fish trap. I don't know if you've heard about this. Oh, so. you guys are doing this? Yeah. Yeah, I saw this in a like a viral video online or something. It's always so hard to catch your fish, but basically then you put some food in here. Yes. The fish will go in and as soon as the fish goes in, it basically flips up. Like 90 degree turf and you can just remove that's the fish it like that. yeah it's super smart i remember when they first saw it online and i was like that is genius so over here these are the fish systems i'm gonna show you a few of my favorites and we can check out some of the coolest this one right here wow the emperor angelfish all right so this is what it looks like as a baby and then as an adult, it actually changes color and looks like that. That's not. This is a beautiful fish. Look at the pattern. Wow. Look at all these orange antheas. They're super colorful and they like to be in groups. So you put these in a reef tank and they just like usually accent them. It's so nice. Look at these guys, the little puffer fish. We got some really small baby blue tangs in here. Look how little they are. They're so cute. Look at this guy. That's a cool little angel fish. These guys are really cool. You don't see these very often. So over here, we got tons of fire fish. Look at that fish. He's really cool. A lot of fish, a lot of inverts. So and here, so that's the place where we take the pictures of the corals. So we made a special construction. Yes. Oh so my god. Because otherwise it gets too exhausting. So you can just put it here and wow. then it's really easy to take the pictures. That is legit. I mean, growing up, even myself, when I worked in a fish store, I know how hard it is to take the photos of the corals and to get everything right. Because otherwise you get problems with your neck if you do this the whole day. So all these corals right here are going on the website. Yes. Some nice looking corals, yeah. And we have special labels so we can really identify the corals so shipping stuff doesn't pick up the wrong coral. So that's where we uh, make frags of the imported corals, both wild and cultured. We make the frag zones on our own. So you make your own frag plugs? Yes. 
Gotcha. And we also have, a, I think the recipe of how we make them is on our website, so we make no secret out of it. So every hobbyist, if he's interested, just go to the website and you can find the recipe how to make this on your own. We do a little baking experiment, Yanni. <laughs> okay, these are the pumps. They actually have them inside the uh, mixing station. Look at all these pipes. Yes. Oh my gosh. And then hook up. <laughs> right. And then keep going, follow the trail. Follow the trail. If you want to make a water change, we just open one of these valves and then we can pump 500 gallons of fresh seawater into the system and the old water goes directly to the waste. This looks like an organ. <laughs> This is like a work of art. So every single one of these corals goes online yeah, and yes. is available right to be shipped. These are some pretty big pieces. I like, think so. I, think I these consider are... these really small. Really? Yeah. These are some pretty big size frags to me. Like normally in America, I don't think you're really seeing many SPS getting shipped this big. Wow, so this, these are beautiful. I mean, look at these guys. These are like just absolutely gorgeous pieces. Look at this guy. This is like From a rainbow. Australia. Wow. Look at the colors and, and on these some of these. Small. Yeah, so these two corals right here, they can actually move. This guy is really fluffy. So these are all SPS. Wow, the colors are like a rainbow. Wow, look at this thing. This is it's what? Golden, gold. golden torque. How much does this sell for here? 400 euros? That is a beautiful coral. Look at like the tips are all yeah, just like orange. rainbow. This is Sebastian. He is the coral expert here. Yeah. Exactly. The special thing about this plate coral is that they naturally break apart. Wow. So it breaks itself. Dude, that is unbelievable though. You got some other play corals right here. Yeah, yeah these are really cool combos. Oh, these are beautiful. Look at these zoanthids, they're so red. Understand. And then these ones right here are actually really cool too. Wow, yeah, this tank is insane. Whoa. Whoa, look at all this coral. This is all going out onto their website. So we are now on the third floor, and this is where they have their coral farm. So they just started it, but so at the moment we have like two farms. Let's see it. Let's check it out. <laughs> all right, so up here on the third floor, all of this is the farm. And the interesting thing about the farm is it's also a sustainable approach. So the roof above us is covered with solar panels. So the idea is to grow the coral through solar energy. Is it enough to cover the electricity costs? No, it covers the farm more or less, but for the whole consumption we have here at White Corals, it's only 20%. Your coral is awesome, but also like the type of equipment you guys have is like next level. And it's not just hobby level grade, it's like scientists level grade? Yeah, I mean this is used for like professional laboratories doing working for the medicine industry. So, Little devices are even more expensive than the RO system. Wait, these devices are more expensive yes. than the RO system? Yes. All right, so where are we now? So that's the room where we prepare our RODI water and that's our RODI system. So the first step is we take out the alkalinity of the water and then this water goes to the Neuros Osmosis system. And it's really important to be economic here because we're using more than 1 million liters of water per year. Wow, <laughs> that's crazy. This is like the most legit RODI system I've ever seen. How much does like one of these cost? About 15,000 euros. Wow, 15,000 euros to yep. purify your water. Ooh. Around 25,000 euros. Oh my God. We're measuring all these water parameters the whole day. The machine doesn't make any mistakes. That's the good thing. Ah, I think I'm starting to understand the type of guys that you are as perfectionists. <laughs> you guys have two big display tanks right here. Yes. yes. And then basically all the way down, just coral and coral and coral. I guess just show me some of your favorite pieces and like what you're farming. Let's see it. Did all of these start as little babies? Yes. The little white parts at the top of the coral, you can see that's where they cut it to make all the babies over here. So all these little babies came from the mother colonies from here. Grown through solar energy. Instead of taking more corals from the ocean, yes. just source them from yourself. Yes. We call these corals ocean-free corals because they've never been in the ocean. That's crazy. That's yeah. amazing. I'm just going to be trying to show you as many of the coolest pieces that I can find. Just look at some of the colors on these corals. This coral, this acro is amazing. It doesn't have a name yet. The guy said I could name it. So we're going to make it George's Gold. It's going to be on whitecorals.com next week. Go check it. So one of the most special corals we have in the far to me is this Montipora. So the, but I've never seen this kind of color combination before. Whoa. Wow, that coral is amazing. I mean, this doesn't even look real. These yeah. don't look real. Who would have thought coral could one day grow 
and just be like so beautifully polka dotted like that. I mean, look at this one too. I mean, this is common, but just still so pretty. This is what, an elegance coral? Yes. These are like more your typical elegance corals, what they look like. These yellow ones right here, they're like neon green. Like it's a, they're super special. Then over here, you have some euphelias. You got that massive gold euphelia. Wow. What are these, bubble corals? Guys, look how bubbly these tentacles look. These right here, obviously these are super easy. These are green star pops, which looks like grass. Out of all the corals right here, this one, even though it's one of the smallest, stands out. It's like a gem. It's so beautiful. It's glowing, just like crazy. Over here, just some Duncan corals. These look like flowers. It's like a patch of uh, daisies or something. It's so cool. That is a enormous recordia mushroom. Have you seen this before? That, is that strawberry shortcake or? Yeah. Here's three different variations of the same coral. These are all called flower pot corals and you can mm. see that they're called that because of these tentacles that just look like beautiful, beautiful flowers. There are some amazing colonies in here. You're about to show me what, your zoos? Yeah, these are really special ones. So we only received one or two polyps from Taiwan. To my knowledge, they are called Little Shop of Horrors. Little Shop of Horrors? Yes. You guys need to rebrand that because you just need to rebrand it. That's what we found in the internet. Well guys, not everything you Google is always true. Not everything you Google is always true. So this tank is obviously the newer one because you can see there's a lot more frags in here. But with time and some love, it will also be like the other one and be amazing. So this is the servers. This is basically the uh, the motherboard of white corals. If we were trying to break in here and take you guys down, find this room and somehow do something to all these wires, cut them all off. Yeah. At this door, you can only open it with the black key. <laughs> Two people have the black key. Don't tempt my viewers. They will find this place. They will infiltrate the complex and find that black key and they'll have a lot of white corals then. <laughs> Look at this, the accountant hard at work. Man, she's crunching some numbers. There's gotta be a lot of corals going through this place. So here we're just storing the boxes we used to ship. All right, so these are the white boxes that ship all the white corals. Why did you decide to name the company White Corals? There were so many companies which are named Marine, Fauna, Tropic, Reef. And so we decided for a really weird name because a white coral is a dead coral. So right. the idea was once you hear the name, you won't forget the name. All right, idea. guys, I'll give you credit. I probably won't forget it, White Corals. <laughs> so every two weeks, Weeks, all these boxes filled with coral, they get shipped out, and then there's more. It's yeah. <laughs> a lot of boxes. <laughs> what is that sound? It's the elevator. Sound when the doors are opening. This building is a little. There's a ghost in here, guys. <laughs> is it a coincidence that it's called white corals? Dead corals come and they haunt the hobbyists. <laughs> so this just it's for... the break room. This is only something for geeks. It's water plus sodium chloride, salt water. Of course, I mean, they're missing some elements. But... You guys are nerds. Yeah. <laughs> but it's okay, because pretty much everyone watching this video is, so. But you guys uh, are brothers. Yes, we are yeah, brothers. Do you guys ever fight? If we fight? Yeah. From mm -hmm. time to time, yes, From of time course. to time, yeah. See, Yanni? We fight too. It's okay. Fighting is productive. No, our fighting is unproductive. So Stuttgart is the city where the Porsche Museum and the Porsche factories are located. So all the Porsches come from here. It's just like a five minute drive from White Corals. Very special bridge where the cars are moving from one um, facility to the other and you can see them moving Johnny. through the bridge. This would be the place. I think this is the Porsche shop where they sell most of the most successful Porsche. All right, so we're actually at the Porsche Museum in Stuttgart. Literally every other car is a Porsche. Yeah. Those are real cars? Yes, yeah, yeah, they are uh, working and the lights go on uh, once it's dark. Make sure to subscribe to my channel. George, out.